Don't think about it. I have a knife. Is he chasing me? He's coming like right at me. There we go. Okay, we're gonna need a lot more than that. <laughs> so we're gonna to have to go out and get so much of that goddamn assault now. Ugh. Okay, let's go find some more socks. We're gonna need some more water, so we've got to do it at some point. God, they're so creepy those things, especially at night time. Just make the weirdest noises. I can't seem to find any salt. Like it's all just there's none here. Oh god! Jesus Christ, that was close. I didn't realise I was that deep. Just casually swimming up, not really caring. And oh god, that's close. And he died. Whew! That was scary. I, yeah, I just can't find salt. These rocks just keep appearing out of nowhere, falling down hills and stuff. Weird. Oh, there's an auction thing here, look. Boo. Boop. Okay. I don't see any salt. Oh my Jesus. What are you doing over here? This is my safe place. You're not allowed to be over here. Oh. <laughs> Terrifying. I'm waiting for that goddamn other thing to come out. That one that's uh, if you go further down towards the Aurora, that huge thing. That, that's, that's the terrifying thing. These are like the ones that are scary because at the minute I can't go very fast. So you can't really escape. When you have like the sea glide, you just use a sea glide and get away from them really easily. By the minute, I'm so slow, it takes ages to get anywhere. But yeah, like I said, I'm just trying to get some salt. It's, it's so hard to find. And considering you need so much of it as well for water. Do these things actually attack you? I'm pretty sure they're passive unless you go really close to them, maybe. I know they blow up, so I don't want to get too close. Okay, here's some salt. Finally. So yeah, the thing I'm looking forward to, like I remember before there's like all those deep caves, you can go really deep down, you get the cyclops, you get the sea moth. And there's so much to look forward to. They've also got some new cool things, which I don't technically want to show you. You might have seen them already, because like I said, there's probably other people that do upload this game, but um, so I don't know if you've seen it already yet, but assuming you haven't, there are some really cool things to, to uh, look forward to. So hopefully um, you guys are excited as I am about playing this and finding some of the new things that they've done. Already it's pretty good. I keep getting the odd lag spike which is kind of frustrating but I don't think it's that that bad. Okay right, let's just make some more water then just to be on the safe side. There we go. So we've probably, oh, we just did all that. We've kind of just run out of more water. So there, there we go. Shall I have another one? It does 40. We'll wait till it goes down a little bit more then. Okay, so what's next on the list of things to make? So we're going to need tools. Okay, I've got a laser cutter, which I don't think we need drastically at the minute. Um, a habitat builder, which probably probably be on next. See, we can't, there's no point in building a scanner yet. So I guess it's a, one of these. So we need a computer chip and a battery. Now, the computer chip, oh, we can actually make. See, it was worth it getting that silver ore. I knew it. And a battery. There we go, we did it. <laughs> Easy. Okay, um let's uh, let us build oh, God, I keep forgetting everything is, okay. Let's do it. So we let's build a platform, we can build a base and go from there. Great. So let's get this thing out. How do I use it? Oh wow. So we can build a platform, foundation, we can build a um, hatch. So it's basically titanium we're going to need, it's just tons of titanium as you can see. Do you, can you not just build like a big room? What? I can disconnect this. Get off. I need to get off. I'll deconstruct, I don't want to do that. 
This is Live Pod 7. I'm loading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in the emergency sea glide. So, there's people alive. Where? Is it them over there or something? Who said that? There are people alive. There are people here. They must be over in that one. They're in one of them. It says uh, Life Pod 7. I can't remember which one that is. Oh, let's just fake. They'll be dead by the time I get there. There's no rush. We could need to see them off to get down there. They'll be long gone. What's this? Oh, yeah. This is. Oh, wait. If I switch them round. It shows me where they are, I think. So there's another one down there. Look. Oh, God. There's so many. Okay, well, screw these. Screw them. We're, uh. We're out here for ourselves. How do I get get these off? So I don't want them in on my screen all the time. Sorry, lads. I'll go sh just throw them in here. Sorry, they go bye. Oh, we've got food in there as well. Oh, so and we've got water in there still. Whoops, I forgot about that. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's us build. Um, habitat. Me some titanium. So we store some of this quartz for now. Some of this other stuff. And we'll get all the titanium out we can get. There you go. Now where do we want to build our base? Hello. Somewhere relatively flat. Like We need something that's got a gap underneath it as well so we can get the seam off in. It's like here maybe. I don't know if it's deep enough. I was thinking cause we have this, we can have the seam off come down under here and come up. Oh god, what's that? Oh, they blow up. Oh no, I'm stuck in a hole. Quick. Okay, well they kind of they can be kind of aggressive. Then I guess if you go too close. Okay, that's fine. We'll let them off. Maybe we should have built the base down here. I don't want it too close to the surface. Yeah, I like this bit here. It's really open. Okay, let's have a look. So let's build... Oh no, you can build all this stuff here. I forgot about this. Well, how the hell do you build a room? Can you not build those big rooms anymore? Or am I looking right at it and I can't see it? I'd like to make it floats. Okay, good. Okay, that's fine. Get some air. So if I just put this down, say, just say here, then what? I can just put a hatch on it, and that's my way in. Can you not have the room? Like, there must be a way. I must be doing something wrong here. Like, where's the room? Like, I swear you should have to just build like a big room that you can just go in. Okay, let's finish with this hatch then. Okay, so now I can go inside. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. But like I said, how do I build the room? Okay, so I just looked online and apparently you need to get a blueprint for it now. So you can't, it's the big, the big room you need a blueprint for, which is quite interesting, which I didn't know. So, <laughs> I don't know how we're going to find, do, find that out and to do that, but I guess I have to swim out somewhere maybe? I, I don't know. So I, I think there's an island, if I go this way, I think there's an island in this direction somewhere. And that's where the blueprint's found. Okay, so the next thing I think we're going to have to build is the, if I have a quick look... Um, where is it? The scanner. That's what I was going to say. Um, yeah, we have to be after the scanner. And um, there it is. So we need a battery and titanium. Um, the reason I want the scanner is because you've seen all those uh, Sea Glide blueprints on the floor, like lying around. So I like to try and uh, get some, you know, get a scanner to actually start collecting resources to build the Sea Glide because I don't know what you need. Um, what was I trying to build? <laughs> I forgot already. Uh, this. A scanner, I need a battery. Okay, 
I think we've got some copper left over. If not, we'll have to uh, go out and get some. Okay, there we go. So about the battery, and then we should be able to just make the scanner. Great. So as soon as it's daytime, which it should be in a minute, I think. We'll, uh, we'll go out and uh, get some, scan some stuff. There we go. A sea glide fragment. Let's uh, quickly scan that then. So if I press tab, I can view what it does. Okay, yeah, we, we kind of know what it does anyway, but we should it should be in here now maybe. Okay, there. So we need one more part to get the sea glide, and then we can build a sea glide. We can get around a lot quicker, which would be nice. Looks like the sun's about to come up as well. Looks like it's, oh, maybe not. It's still dark. So one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about as well. I, when I recorded the first part um, yesterday, I um, I went on to BBC iPlayer. If you don't know what BBC iPlayer is, it's just like a website that plays um, like shows that are on the BBC. It's pretty crap. But there's nothing really ever on there. I only ever watched like the, the Apprentice, Dragon's Den, and like the odd documentary or something. But you can actually watch uh, TV channels live on there if you're in the in the UK. And they had a program on. It was called The Deep. It was some kids' uh, program. And it had a thumbnail for it. I thought, oh, that looks like Subnautica. I've, you know, I've just sat there and recorded. So I clicked on it, and it was unbelievably similar to Subnautica. I'm going to show you some screenshots of it, but it had, like, the seam off. It had, oh, my God. It had the Cyclops. It had, um, like, the mechanical arm thing. I don't know what, um, you know, you can get inside it. I don't know what it's actually called yet, because I haven't actually made it. But it was, it was so similar. Like, the same sort of monsters, like the Reaper, you know, it was like... Is insane. Oh, look, lab counter. But yeah, I don't know if they've like ripped it, like ripped Subnautica off or Subnautica have ripped them off. But I just thought I couldn't believe how similar it was. And it was based on the same sort of principle as well that these people were uh, crash landed in the ocean and they found all this stuff under the under the sea, and it's just very similar to this. And it just I thought, you know, what coincidence? But anyway, let's try and scan some more stuff down here. I don't know what you can scan or what you can't. Um, I'm scared of that thing. There's some salt here, which we'll definitely take. We've got to check all these inside these little cargo boxes. I reckon if I get a laser cutter, I can get inside these. Perhaps. Yeah, like something like this. If I get a laser cutter, I might be able to get inside and see what's in there. There's not like there's actually much here. Which is a shame. Except from this thing, it's probably eat me. It's eating all the fish. <laughs> Okay, let's go back up so we're a bit closer away from this thing. What was that? Crash's powder. Okay, I think there's a bit of a bug there. But sure, we'll take it. So it's telling me to cut this uh, creep vine. So I'm going to cut it because the text is annoying when it's on the screen. Make sure none of those things are around to eat me. We'll just take... Oh, there's one. Do I get another one? There we go. We've got two. Oh god, there's loads of them around. Leave me alone. They're funny looking. Go away. Don't think about it. I have a knife. Is he chasing me? He's coming like right at me. I think he's chasing me. Yeah, he's kind of like going in the same direction as me. Here, go away. Uh. Leave me. Yeah, he's definitely chasing me. Can you get away, please? Oh my god. They don't usually chase you this long, do they? Oxygen. Yeah. Um. Oh, we're actually getting close to the Aurora. Can I hide in here? Be very quiet. Okay. Let's assume he's gone. Oh, look. Scan this. Alien life forms. Yeah, he's gone. He'll be one. Oh, look. Was that more wreckage there? It is. This is like a lot as well. I just thought I'd go out and explore a bit more with the scanner because we need the, like I said, we need all these uh, things. 
Can I scan this? What's this? A vehicle bay fragment. Oh, so we, I think that's... No, that's not the moon pool, is it? I guess... I think this is what makes the actual... Um... Actual ships, like the sea moth. There's another one here. Look, unless we've done it already. Look, we've, we've unlocked it. Great. Now, if I'm right, if you scan them once you've unlocked them, you just get, like, resources. There you go. Got some titanium from it. Uh, what the hell is this? Seam of fragment. Oh, yeah. That's what we need. Boom. Bioreactor frag. Oh, wow. Oh. I remember that thing. A chair. We can make a chair. Loads of stuff here. Definitely worth coming further away from the base then. Because it's quite far away now. 400 meters away. Now, what's all this stuff? Vehicle bay fragments. We've got that now. We don't need to worry about that. Um, so, yeah, we've got to look at every single bit of thing on the floor then to unlock it. Yeah, see that? If I had a laser cut, I can get in there. More vehicle bay. See more fragment. Oh, that's really good. Need one more bit of seam off fragment. Oh, is that it? We've done it. We got. We can unlock. We can actually make a seam off now because we've got the vehicle bay, which we can make, and we can actually make the seam off. I'll have to have a look in a minute. Loads of stuff here, man. This is so good. Loads of seam off fragments. Okay, so it looks like I've actually unlocked some more stuff. We can make the seam off, which actually looks very simple to make. Um, but we need a power cell, so I don't know how hard that is to make. Make a chair, we can make the vehicle base, is what we're going to need to make to uh, make the seam off, I think. A dive reel, this is new, so apparently we can anchor to a physical point and unwind and go down. That's really good. A rebreather, absorb CO2 to recycle used air at greater depths, so I think that might mean we can go deeper. A fibre mesh, a lab counter, um, what's this? Oh, a generator, current generator, so power, or solar panels. Okay, he's got a new message, but who cares. Let's uh, make these fins then, because I want to go a bit faster. Hopefully that helps. Picked up fins. Okay, do they go straight onto my inventory? They do. Okay, great. So we should go a lot faster now underwater, which would save some time. And we can't build the seam off, so I guess we have to go for this. So we need a power cell. Now, how much is a power cell? Two battery silicon rubber. That's not too bad, to be honest. We need some acid mushrooms for that. Do we need two batteries and then silicon rubber? Which I'm going to get some more seed clusters for. But we should be okay with that. 